All right, guys, 417 Reefert Street, uh, two houses down from 413, I think you guys did, um, over here. A little snowy today. I didn't get a really good chance to come uh, up the front. I don't think there's much to do. It's a lot of good concrete. Came through the side. There's a huge garage on the side here. Uh, it's winter time, so we're not going to be doing too much painting. I like this old schoolhouse light. We'll leave that. Um, I don't know if we can do anything with this kind of stuff, so let's just have a conversation. I don't know if we can remove all the loose stuff and maybe just do a top coating on here. Um, or if we have to, we'll just kind of leave it as it is. All right. Door, front door is really cool, old. This is an older house. Hardwoods are in great shape. We're gonna leave all that. This whole house, uh, we'll get alabaster paint on the ceilings and the walls and we'll leave all the trim work the way it is. All right. Um, let's talk about maybe touching up some of this stuff like this, like you guys normally do, uh, just to clean everything up. So it's nice and fresh, but come into a nice foyer. We'll put a uh, new disc light there. Uh, again, typical older house, so we're gonna have a lot of this cracking and stuff, so a lot of taping and mud. Um, come into the living room. Bob's gonna get a new, uh, a new larger fan for there. And we will, again, leave all the trim work. We could leave that section up there, that piece of trim as well. And we'll just paint flat alabaster ceilings and walls, leave all the wood. Fireplace is in great shape, we won't touch that. I think we're gonna cap, there's a lot of these sconces throughout the house, and uh, I think we're just gonna cap those and just put a box plate, a uh, cover plate over that. All right. uh, hot water heat in here, everything's working great, brand new boiler. Uh, I think we're gonna put a chandelier in this house. Uh, it's kind of like classic charming, so we'll put in a chandelier and again, just alabaster paint uh, and a lot of drywall plaster work. We're gonna spray all the plugs and uh, we'll place all the switches as usual. Coming to the kitchen here, we'll do a seasoned oak LVT floor. Kitchen cabinets are very nice. I think they're craft made, good shape. We're gonna leave them and we're gonna put new, uh, we'll do new black granite counters in here. And then I'll pick out a, sub, a, uh, a backsplash. So we'll put in new black appliances. So a black dishwasher, a black stove. And I think we're gonna leave this here. There's a, there's a nice hood above it. So I think we'll just put a countertop microwave on top of that and then Probably gonna get a larger fridge over here. And standard light in the kitchen. Bob will get that. Okay. Come through this little thing. We'll LBT this little area and we'll LBT that landing right there as well. Okay. Just a cool little slot right here. I guess we'll leave this, Bob. This is good storage. We'll, just, we'll paint these covers, alabaster, we'll leave that. That's, that's good extra storage there. All right. All these closets are really deep. Um, they're all actually really nice, way deeper than, uh, than normal. All right. Going upstairs. We have a little structural issue here. I think uh, the, double, the, the uh, double beam in the basement, we're going to get a jack post. We'll lift that and uh, see if we can get these steps to, to, to come back up. Step going up here on the second floor that is split pretty bad. Um, Bill thinks we should remove the drywall below in the ceiling and, and try to replace it from, uh, from below so we can talk about that, Ant. Right. Probably gonna have the hard ones I'm not going to touch on the first floor, but I'll probably have Joe come and redo the steps and then the second floor. Uh, we re refinish it. It's all the old pine, so it's going to be a little tougher for you guys. Uh, we don't have a drum sander, so we'll let the pros do that. Uh, Hawkins fan in the, in the bedrooms. Again, plaster repair, a lot of that with the age of the house. And yeah, spray the plugs. We'll cap these sconces 
And that's it. Big double door closet in this bedroom. In this bedroom. We'll leave these old doorknobs. You typically would change them out, but since we're leaving the doors uh, wood, let's just get these operating right. Warp these carpets up. Hawkins fan, cap that sconce. And yeah. Just... Hawkins fan in this bedroom. We do have a, uh, I looked in this closet next to the bathroom. We have a nice access panel. We do have a drum trap. So we need to replace all drum traps. All, the, all our work orders that we're getting are all plumbing issues. So I got a, uh, I got a brand new electric hand snake. So um, Bill will come over and show you guys how to use that. Uh, new 24 inch vanity that we typically do. Uh, do a new toilet, new medicine cabinet. Uh, we'll put some new sconces in, satin nickel sconces. And this is a wall board that it's, everything's in great shape. I just don't want to peel these old houses. Once you start peeling the onion layers off, you just, you've run into so many problems. So I think we're just going to use that sticks product to prime these walls and paint them. And then, uh, this, this bathtub is so clean. I don't even want to touch it actually. It's just super clean. Just put in a new shower head and just leave everything. We could, we could repaint that cover, just take it off and spray it. And then we'll do seasoned oak LVT in this, uh, in this bathroom here. And then I think Bob will just get an LED disc light for there because we have a window, so we don't need to do a, uh, we don't need to do a fan. All right, I think we're gonna end up doing a GF, uh, I think Bill, Bill, Bill will go over this. I think we're gonna do a GFI here, maybe make these switches work the same light, and then we can get a GFI in here. All right. There is a third floor. I'm just gonna call it an attic because I do not want to spend money refinishing this thing. I'm just gonna market it as an attic. Like we're not redrywalling. I'd spend 15 grand up here if if I really wanted to open up a can of worms. So just gonna kind of market this as just a nice storage area. All right. thing we'll do is we'll just patch patch this ceiling with some drywall and then we can make that like an access panel we just cut cut that out and just go up to that um just take it from the baseboard up to the where the ceiling line is and we'll just make that an access panel so it could just be it could just be a piece of little one screwed to the studs for all i care we don't need to like make it swing or anything like this one all right 